take a look at your Caribbean report for tonight. We start in Barbados where local athletes are mourning the passing of one of their most enduring, revered veteran coaches, Anthony Tony Lavelle. Lavelle died earlier this week at the age of 64 after dealing with heart complications for a couple of years. A former national team and national sports council coach, Lavelle spent most of his four decades in track and field guiding over 100 junior athletes to scholarships and education opportunities as the founder of his historic club called the Freedom Strider. Originally involved in athletics purely by accident, Lavelle started out as a noteworthy sprinter under the legendary Jim Webenburn before becoming an outstanding long jumper in the mid-60s. But it was his role in the founding of the Freedom Striders and coaching several of the country's finest athletes that Lavelle made his name in the local track and field. His wife, Annesley Lavelle, in an interview with reporters that her husband, truly had foresight. And in Castries, preparations are in order for the St. Lucia Jazz Festival that focuses on Caribbean jazz and world music. Will this year once again feature an impressive array of artists with bands and performers from Trinidad, Guadeloupe, St. Lucia, Haiti, and Martinique, plus two guest artists from Africa. The festival will run between the 30th of April and May 3rd. The 15th edition of Jazz in the South is placed under the patronage of Pan Mastro Andy Nervell and will feature the University of Calypso project that Nervell and the renowned Calypsonian realtor created back in 2009, a project that explores the role of jazz in vintage Calypso. And finally in Jamaica, Jamaica's Senate has approved amendments to the Terrorism Prevention Act to allow the Director of Public Prosecutions to list persons or entities as terrorists following the approval of the Supreme Court bill entitled Terrorism Prevention Amendment Act 2011. It seeks to establish the legislative framework to facilitate implementation of special recommendations made by the Financial Action Task Force in an intergovernmental body linked to the Organization of Economic Corporation and Development, which develops policies to combat money laundering and terrorism financing. Justice Minister and Attorney General Dorothy Lightenborn said that by virtue of the amendments, Jamaica was now in a position to be more effective and comply with the Financial Action Task Force special recommendations. The task force conducted regular evaluations of countries to ensure that they adhere to the international standards pertaining to money laundering and terrorism financing. Jamaica went under a similar evaluation back in 2005. This Caribbean report is brought to you by MLK Tires, keeping you rolling right. That's your Caribbean report for tonight, and the St. Croix Animal Shelter needs your votes to compete in a national contest. Here's Wes with more. Thank you very much, Jerome. I know you're a Vista volunteer. That's how you came to the territory. Your heart's always open to the pets here. Oh, man, this is that a girl? This is a girl. Look at this her. is Nanita. All right, Nanita. Must be Russian. <laughs> I'm here with um, Gretchen Cheryl, the coordinator at the animal shelter, and we're talking about the ASPCA 100K challenge. And finally, St. Croix is qualified. Tell us all about it, Gretchen, and congratulations. Thank you very much. Um, we were not eligible to enter last year. They had it based on the human population, and there weren't enough people in the VI uh, in St. Croix to qualify. And this year they only had, when I checked it out, they only had Puerto Rico listed. So I had to make some emails, phone calls, and, and we got in. We had a, a written application and then we had a telephone interview and we made it into the top 100. So the next portion of this challenge is we want to get in the top 50 and we need everyone, regardless of where you live, whether you're on St. Croix, St. Thomas, in the States, Europe, it doesn't matter, to vote for us. And Anita needs you to go to votetosavelives.org. We could potentially win $100,000. Um, there are $300,000 worth of prizes, and it would benefit us greatly. Our goal is to, to double our adoptions from last year. The ASPCA is going to help us with training in addition to funds. And so we really need everyone to harass your friends and family members. You can vote once per day, April 4th through the 15th, vote to save lives.org. They don't need your address, they don't need your name. You just need an email and you need to be 18 years old. We want to get in that top 50 and we need your help to do it. Nikita, right? Yeah. She's like special, man. Yeah, yeah. All right, I, I, I'm in love with her. All right, well, Gretchen, that is fantastic. Vote 
to save lives dot org and how long do how do we how long do we have april 4th it starts monday and it goes through the 15th and again the aspca is watching um we have to compete against some big competition new york city washington dc some large cities in florida so you know we really st croix needs your help so uh please tell everyone you know to go and vote next week they don't have doggies look pretty as you do no, they mama no. you got it going on <laughs> All right, we're at the St. Croix Animal Shelter. Please do what you can. Everyone out there, have a good weekend. Thank God it's Friday. Please don't drink and drive. I'm Wes Small for News Channel 8. And good luck on those boats coming into the animal shelter. I've already placed my boat. And when we come back from this break, BOGO's got your weekend entertainment report. Stay with us. And let's take a look at Bogo. He's got your entertainment report for this weekend. Thank you very much, Jerome. Good evening to everyone. Welcome to this week's edition of the Entertainment Report. And we're starting off with tonight, Friday night, definitely looking some place to go. We go down to H2O on a Friday night to party. Go and listen to the sounds of the Mad Rasterosy. You're going to have DJ Fuzzy and Dave Martinez. It's just $5 for the guys to get in. Ladies, you get in free all night long. And since we're at each show, we're going to tell you about the Saturday night event also. On Saturday night, you can come out and have dinner. And right after that, from about 8 o'clock or so, you can have some karaoke with Dean Hodge and myself. Definitely come on out to karaoke. It is a good event. A lot of people have been enjoying it, and they have been talking about it. And then we also want to tell you something that's happening this Friday night also. It takes place at the 2 Plus 2 nightclub. It's all about dancing with our stars. It's a six-week dance competition. And you can go out there. I think this week you're going to have what? Calypso. And next week you're going to have salsa. And we have cha-cha already. Music is by DJ Louis. You can win like trips for two and many gifts back baskets. So definitely you want to go to 2 Plus 2 nightclub for dancing with our stars and then we're going to also move on to this weekend of course we're looking some place to go you can't forget our one and only sunday night line which takes place at the two plus two nightclub each and every sunday featuring the songs of dj carl and also select the cook big cat sound and mc bogey definitely ladies you got to come on out and get your foreplay also we can't forget this saturday i can't forget this one this is an event that everybody has been waiting for we are talking about at the two plus the night club it's all about father meets son this band say that they still rule and the son says no are we rule we are talking about the world famous express band and they'll be coming up against daddy jones and crew so definitely you're looking some place to go saturday i know it's going to be exciting a lot of people have been waiting for a dance like this world famous express band meets daddy jones and crew at the two plus the night club this saturday and then we're going to tell you about next week, Saturday, at the Crusaders Nightclub, as the Caribbean Togetherness Group presents a night of soca, country, zook, and much, much more. It takes place at the drive-in. That's April 9th. And it's at from 9 p.m. until music is by DJ Jules. Tickets are just $10. That's at the drive-in, Saturday, April 9th. you got to go and check it out. And also, Saturday, April 9th, at none other than Teddy's in Cyan Farm. It's all about the pre St. Thomas Carnival warm up. Featuring all the way from Sugar City St. Kitts is none other than the Small Axe Band. And also, we're going to have the Mad Rasterosy. We're going to have DJ Carl, Selector Cook, Big Cat Sound, MC Bogle. We're going to have DJ Eddie. Definitely, you're going to have the UMB Soldiers also. So, you got to come on out to Teddy's. You got to go and get your tickets. They are going like hot bread and butter. So definitely you got to go and get your tickets now. Don't forget the $200 backshot competition. It's saying it's coming up against the VI. So please get yourself in gear because this promises to be a big, big one. Brought to you by BCJ Promotions. And then we're going to tell you, of course, on the 16th of April at the Pentos Rooftop, Most Wanted for Life is doing something called the VI All-Stars. Who said we need to bring a song from foreign to Ram the Dance Hall? Not at all. So we are having 
avalanche out of St. Thomas, the Iceman. We're going to have Red Lion Sound also out of St. Thomas. And from St. Croix, we're going to have Super Track Sounds. So definitely, you got to remember that one. Mark it on your calendar. Saturday, April 16th. And don't forget the American Cancer Society, We Live for Life, is coming up in May. And we're just going to tell you on Sunday, April 10th, at the ballpark going on there on Hovenza Road, there's going to be a big family fun day. you got to come and check it out. Bring the children out. We're going to have a softball game. And we're asking all the different entertainers and DJ and what's not, please sign up for a good cause, a worthy cause. Let's come on out that Sunday and play some softball. So I'm expecting West Small, Jerome, Koof, everyone from China to be there playing softball on Sunday, April 10th for as we gear up for American Cancer Society Relay for Life 2011, the 10th anniversary. And definitely don't forget Senkis Music Festival is coming up in June. The dates are June 23rd to the 25th. Keep it locked here on WSY TV Channel 8. We are going to have all, all the information for you coming up shortly. Make sure you have your passports ready and you have your hotel accommodation ready because this is the 15th annual Sink It's Music Festival. I want to thank you for joining me on the Entertainment Report. Remember, whatever you do, try to do it peacefully. If you drink, just don't drive. Back to you, Jerome. <laughs>